everyone welcome or welcome back to Jen's hangouts if you're new here I'm Jen welcome 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 <laughs> and if you're returning I love you guys so so much you know that please oh I got a cut on my lip right well just above my lip and now it has turned into this thing and I went to the dermatologist do you think she said anything about it nope anyway so what is today? Today is Mask Monday, 4th of July edition. Woohoo! That was a scary look. Anyway, today we're going to do a little 4th of July trivia facts to go along with this cute little mask that my dear friend Joe sent to me. It is a snail animal mask by Barry something and okay I know it says on here somewhere 15 to 20 minutes and she is goopy I can feel it so there will be need for the the tub this thing just will not stay why do sticky notes not stick anymore they used to stick they don't stick now. They suck. <laughs> well, I wish they sucked. They'd stay, right? No, anyway. So, Joe sent me this. And it is super cute. So. I've been wanting to play with it. And I thought today would be a good day to do that. Oh, she is super goop. Okay, let's see if I can open this one-handed. Because it is like juicy juice. Okay, there we go. I'll just squeeze just a little bit out because it was dripping on me. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I think it's supposed to be a little monkey. Oh my gosh. It has little ears and everything. How cute! Oh my gosh, Joe, this is so stinking cute. It's so cute! It's a little monkey. A little monkey. How adorable. Oh my gosh. So, this is a snail mask. I'm gonna pull the juice in. Pull the juice in. Gotta give it a good squeeze now. Ooh, yeah, there was a lot of these. Hmm, I'm having a hard time seeing. Probably just because. There we go. That's better. I didn't have it down all the way. <laughs> that was helpful. Anyways, so today we're going to do some 4th of July. Even though it's the 3rd. It's okay. It's alright. So I gotta put my glasses on. I can't see my computer screen without my glasses. This is such a cute mask. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Anyways, okay. So these are 40, 40 of the best 4th of July trivia facts. Okay. Did you know that the Liberty Bell is tapped 13 times? On July 4th. Every year on July 4th, descendants of the Declaration of Independence singers tap the Liberty Bell 13 times. The tradition was created as a way to honor the original 13 colonies. That's cool. By the way, if you don't know what Mask Monday is, Mask Monday is a big open collab where you put on a mask of some sort. Hair, face, hands, feet. Doesn't really matter, right? And you then film it unboxing just putting on your mask and then saying how you feel about it uh, it doesn't really matter do you do you boo right um and then you film it obviously and then you put in your uh description box or in your title i put it in my title Ma hashtag mask monday ladies you will be put into a big open playlist that um Lori Latimer puts together. Thank you, Lori, for doing that. And then I also do uh mask hashtag mask Monday friends. 
So there you go. Um, Massachusetts was the first state to make July 4th an official state holiday. Well, that's interesting. The New England state made it official July 3rd, 1781. Coney Island hosts a famous hot dog eating contest every year on July 4th. It takes place at Nathan's famous corporation's original and best known restaurant in Coney Island, New York City. But if you can't make it in person, you can still watch the televised event from home. I didn't know you watch it from home. Joe Chestnut currently holds the title of hot dog eating world champion after setting the new record at Nathan's. He ate a record baking 76 hot dogs and buns in the 2021 competition. Can you imagine eating that much? Boy. I mean, I could see a lot of people I know could eat 76 hot dogs, but to add the buns to it, Woofy! No thanks. That's a lot of bread. Anyway, <laughs> that was the one place I wish that we had gone when I went to New York City was to Coney Island. That would have been a lot of it. Well, not the one place. There are several places, but that is one of them. Anyway, there have been 27 different versions of the U.S. flag. I, I knew there were tons of different versions, but I didn't know there were that many. The original featured 13 stars and stripes to represent the 13 colonies. Today's American flag features 50 stars and 13 stripes. Former President Barack Obama's older daughter was born on the 4th of July. I didn't know that. Um, Mali Malia? I think that's her name. Obama. Now 24. Well, I don't know if that's true because I don't know when this was published. Was born on July 4th, 1998. Interesting. Um, John Hancock was the first person to sign the Declaration of Independence. I did know that. His bold signature was so memorable that his name became synonymous with the word. As in, put your John Hancock on this farm. I did know that. Uh, President Zachary Taylor died after falling ill at a July 4th celebration. He died on July 9th, 1850. After only 16 months in office, the exact cause of death is still debated by historians, but many believe it had something to do with the large quantities of cherries and iced milk he had during the 4th of July festivities. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know uh, cherries can give you um, lots of trips to the bathroom. We'll just say that in liquid form, and it's very painful. It can get very cramping. I won't explain. Anyway, apple pie has been a staple among American desserts since the 1700s. Settlers were looking for new traditions once they arrived to America. And one of the ways to reach this goal was through food. Everything in America has to do with food. More specifically, pastries. Leaving behind their usual British scones and sweets, they were taught how to preserve apples and make pie crust from their fellow Dutch and German immigrants. Though earlier versions of apple pie did exist in other countries, the first recipe for apple pie in America, because it's more American than apple pie, right, was published in a cookbook in 1796. Woot woot, so it's official. Bristol, Rhode Island has the longest running 4th of July parade. Dating all the way back to 1785, Bristol has held an annual Independence Day celebration, one that the town is known for. It's considered the oldest annual 4th of July celebration to date. I can't talk today. Words are hard. The proper way to fold an American flag is in the shape of a triangle. The reason behind the triangle shape is so that it replicates the iconic tri-cornered hat that soldiers wore in the Continental Army 
during the Revolutionary War. Every American needs to know how to fold an American flag. Patrick Henry is the one who said, give me liberty or give me death. The famous line was actually one small part of a speech Patrick Henry gave to Payette Randolph back in March 23rd, 1775, as a first formal requisite for the Virginia colony's right to freedom. Betsy Ross is often credited with being the first person to sew the American flag, though it's not officially known who exactly sewed the first American flag? There is a long-standing belief that it was Betsy Ross who completed the task at the requisite of General George Washington. Requisite <laughs> request. I, uh, I tell you, words are hard today. They just are. John Adams predicted that Independence Day would be a huge celebration for many generations to come. In a letter he wrote to his wife, Abigail Adams, he declared that the day should be filled with games, sports, parades, and laughter. He basically planned the day for us. Independence Day was once celebrated on July 5th. The holiday fell on, sun on a Sunday in 1779, so Americans celebrated a Monday, the 5th of July, because Sunday is the Sabbath for many people. Three U.S. presidents have died on the 4th of July. James Monroe, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson all died on the Patriotic Day. Adams and Jefferson passed in 1826, and Monroe passed five years later in 1831. There are some copies of the Declaration of Independence with a woman's signature on it. Oh, scandalous! Mary Catherine Goddard wasn't one of the official signers in 1776, but the printer and publisher added her name on the Declaration of Independence after she was hired by Congress to print copies. The 50th star was added to the American flag July 4th, 1960, symbolizes the admissions, symbolizes Hawaii's admission as the United States 50th state. There you go. John Adams thought Independence Day should be celebrated on July 2nd. He had a point given that the Constitutional Congress did declare its freedom from Great Britain on July 2nd, 1776. However, an official document explaining this move to the public wasn't published until two days later on July 4th, 1776. Happy Treason Day! Americans consume a lot of hot dogs on July 4th, about 150 million to be exact. Holy crap, that's a lot. Yes, you read that right. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, Los Angeles residents alone consume 30 million pounds of hot dogs on July 4th. It's safe to say they are a holiday favorite. That is a seriously huge amount of hot dogs. Oh, lordy. The Nathan's Famous Fourth of July Hot Dog Eating Contest began over a century ago. According to the company itself, the first unofficial contest took place on July 4th, 1916. The contest, which begins with four immigrants, which began with four immigrants competing to determine who was the most patriotic, ended up becoming one of the most widely known 4th of July traditions in America. I know lots of places do hot dog eating contests on the 4th. It's crazy. Despite what you might have thought, only two men signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. You can thank John Hancock and Charles Thompson for this one. The rest of the delegates signed within the weeks that followed. There are approximately 16,000 independent Independence Day fireworks display that take place each year. And did you know that most of them are run by like two families? It's crazy. The, the fireworks business is 
it's crazy. Anyway, America's 4th of July tradition is a bit of a loud one, but iconic nonetheless. According to history.com, the custom dates back to 1777. When we look at the costs, Americans spend over $1 billion of fire on fireworks every 4th of July. Well, that's crazy. I think they should have 4th of I think they should have fireworks on Independence Day, or not Independence Day. I really can't talk today. New Year's Eve as well. That's what I'm trying to say. July 4th wasn't an official holiday until almost 100 years after the Declaration of Independence was signed. It wasn't common to celebrate this patriotic event for the first few decades of America's independence. When it was established as an official holiday in 1870, it became one of the most popular non-religious celebrations in the United States. It is my, one of my favorites, that's for sure. There were only about 2.5 million people living in the United States in 77, 1776. That number is drastically different from the approximately 332 million people that live here today. Hospitals receive a surplus of patients on July 4th due to firework related injuries. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't hang on to your fireworks, people. Come on, be smart about it. In 2020, an estimated 15,600 people were hospitalized with injuries related to fireworks. Le learning proper firework handling protocol can be can help prevent these mishaps. Oh, this thing is drier than the Sahara in the desert now. But I'm going to read this last one because I have a little to go with it. Our national anthem wasn't the Star Spangled Banner until 1931. It took 117 years for the words written in 1814 by Francis Key Scott to gain federal recognition. Now it is easily one of the most famous songs in the country. Okay. So, let me take this off. Oh, my skin feels good though. Um, my husband... Well, okay, my husband and I are really big into trying to find our our heritage and all of that. And um, when we were looking at my husband's, we found out that he is actually, um, his family fought in the revolution. They were part of the Sons of the Revolution, the whole nine yards. They were Irish immigrants that came over before we were a country. And they fought in the Revolutionary War. And one of his relatives was actually at the battle where the song was written. And what the song was written about was that battle. So, And he was in that battle. Cool little tidbit of trivia for you. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed, and happy and safe. No firework accidents, right? Fourth of July and blessings to you all. I love you so, so much. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you guys later. Bye.